racing. 1-1-1 slow to go and last resort missed the start badly. Bavisher had no speed and Sunline the best out. Away well, Charming City will drop in second. Adam getting over with Biddy and Win. New Trump's close from Sugarfoot and Charge Affairs getting in for cover. Electronic Unicorn off the speed, so do Fairy King Prawn and 111. Drifting back Chester Rossi, he's deep native desert underneath him. So do Fabisher and Last Resort inside them. Sunline in front getting an easy time of it. Adam's happy to sit up second. New Trump drops in third. Biddy and Wynn covers ground with inside him. Charming City away from the rail. Biddy and Wynn trying to push by him now. From out wider, Charge Defairs 1-1-1. In the centre of the field, Sugarfoot travels eight off the lead. Wider out in the field, Fairy King Prawn. He's going to need luck. Native Desert has him in a pocket from Electronic Unicorn. Last resort. Fabergeur and Testarossa last of all. Sunlight, she's rolling at the 600. She put a length on Adam. New Trump's third, Charming City in four. Biddy and Wynn looks done. Hooking to the outside, Native Desert. Charge Affairs needs a run. Fairy King Prawn hooks to the outside, but he's giving the one to Mare eight lengths. Sunline given the rein at the 350, slipped two lengths in front. Adam New Trump sticks on. Here comes Fairy King Prawn. It's Sunline in front. Fairy King Prawn, the horse of Hong Kong, coming after the Mayor of the World. 150 to go. Sunline's a length in front. Fairy King Prawn trying to get him. Sunline, the Kiwi pulling out stops. Fairy King Prawn lifts. They come to the line. Fairy King Prawn dives, but he missed. Sunline, the Mayor of the World, wins it from Fairy King Prawn. Five lengths at him, I think, third from New Trumps. And uh, they're off. Uh, the Queen Anne Stakes, the traditional curtain raiser to Royal Ascot, underway with a field of 13, and Barchan towards the far side in the red cap leads up to Cody Bear, the grey mare Amazing Maria, Mondialiste, Esoterique in a dark blue jacket, Avedia in the emerald green, Bellardo and Cougar Mountain in the striped cap round out the cluster towards the far side, the smaller group down the centre of the course, led by Teppin in the white bridle, tracked by Endless Drama, Tormor with a white cap, and then towards the rear of the field, Ash in Irwin who slipstreams lightning spear. Barchan, however, is getting loose on the lead. Is five or six lengths clear as they move down towards halfway. To Cody Bear and Teppin, who head the chase, followed by Amazing Maria. Endless Drama in a pink sleeve jacket is in mid-division, just ahead of Essa Tariq. Tourmore waited with. Bellardo in the all-blue silks of Godolphin is under a very patient ride as they prepare to join the round course. And still, Barchan has this long lead, but he's ridden along to maintain it. To Cody Bear with a yellow cap being slipstreamed by Amazing Maria, Essa, Tariq, Bellardo and Cougar Mountain. Teppin is still leading the group down the centre of the course to Mondia Least and then Endless Drama. Behind these, Tourmore, then Lightning Spear. Avedia weighted with midfield Emerald Green Jacket. Ashin Irwin is under a ride as the whole field concertina is now entering the last quarter mile. Cody Bear is the first to commit as Barton weakens. Teppin and Bellardo have produced. Far side is Amazing Maria on down towards the last furlong. Lightning Spear, Tourmore and Avedia behind these, but it's Teppin in front being chased by Bellardo. These two dominate the finish of the Queen Anne. Teppin, Bellardo raising an effort near the line. Teppin pushed out though, wins for America and lands the Queen Anne. All clear given and they're off and racing. Gabriel was slow out of the gate. Solo jumped pretty well along with Cougar Mountain. Bellardo and Arrod are the first few to show. Arrod from wider out is gradually aging over, appears to have the overall lead. Solo the Grey and Cougar Mountain on the rails, the closest pursuers early on. But off in pair side by side, White Cap Bellardo on the inside of Knight of Thunder in the blue. Here comes Wen, he's a little keen in sixth place, throwing his head around. Uh, still towards the back, Bossy Guest and Gabriel last of all. Here comes Wen, riding his rider with an uncomfortable first couple of furlongs as Arrod uh, now leads the ascent and then the turn downhill towards home. So Arrod, his rider, checks where they are. You'll see the grey ghost of Solo in second place, just ahead of Cougar Mountain in third. The pace is a reasonable one. Fourth then for Knight of Thunder, Bellardo fifth ahead of Bossy Guest. Here comes Wen and Gabriel, Andrea Atzani on the descent for Arrod. Leads by still over a length, Solo breathing along in second place. Cougar Mountain in third, Knight of Thunder, Bellardo. Here comes Wen, Bossy Guest and Gabriel is still last of all. So now on the descent towards the three, Arrod with Solo looming last towards the outside. Cougar Mountain shoved along, Knight of Thunder towards the centre. Bellardo with the white cap, then here comes Wen, Bossy Guest and Gabriel. Solo yet to really throw it down to Arrod. What's Andrea Atzali kept out in front? Still leads out and is now asked to stretch
Derek Solo covers the loop, Knight of Thunder and Cougar Mountain towards the outside. The Grey Solo, Arrow is sticking in there on the inside. Solo in force to Napoli hard. Arrow tenacious. Solo by a hit. Arrow's giving just about his all. And Solo on the run to the line is too good. They're off and racing in the Champions Mile, and Beauty Flame bounced away well, and he's going to take the initial lead. Rewarding Hero quickly moving into second position. Contentment got away well. He's into third from Packing Pins and Morris in close attendance. Then a length away to safety check on the outside of Bow Creek. Gunpits got back to a third and fourth last with Secret Weapon going ahead of him. Then Dundonald, Beauty Only and Giant Treasure has been snagged back to the tail end of the field. Beauty Flame takes it up for Chadwick. Strides by a length of the half to Rewarding Hero. Contentment's in a prime spot third, as is the favourite Morris fourth at the thousand. Packing pins running fifth. Then a length away to safety check. Secret weapons four deep. Followed then by Bow Creek down on the rail. Half away then to Gun Pit from Beauty Only getting a track up three and four wide. And then a length away to Giant Treasure and Dundonnell sees nothing but backsides. Beauty Flame is the lamp lighter. 650 metres to go in the Champions Mile. He's been left alone, Beauty Flame. From Rewarding Hero, Contentment sits quietly with Morris. Secret Weapon, followed by Packing Pins and then Safety Check. Beauty Only, Bow Creek, Gun Pit. Giant Treasure will have to come from near last with Dundonald. They're in the stretch and Beauty Flame in front. Rewarding Hero, Contentment. Now Morris strides up. Further back, Safety Check, Packing Pins. It's Beauty Flame still in front. Morris quickly gathering him up. Race to the lead. Contentment now coming through. Morris surged to the the front of the champions mile broke clear from contentment then safety check and packing pins but this is brutal force morris is far too good in the champions mile wins it two and a half to contentment and packing pins and they're off bet twice breaks alertly steinland was also out fast simply majestic has hustled away and master christopher now sprinting up from the outside to grab the early lead it's Master Christopher now who goes on with it. Simply Majestic is gathered back in second. Mohamed Abdu is away well in third position. Stalin is fourth toward the inside. Niccolo Polo on the outside now running in fifth place. And Ray Vanilla now sixth toward the rail. And she's hustled up. Flushing John is now racing in seventh. Miesque was three wide round the first turn. She's now ten lengths off the lead. And then it is Mill Native followed by Belmont Sticks. Winner bet twice. Warning has one horse beaten, and that is Posen. Warning is 15 lengths off the lead of a free-running Master Christopher. He leads by three lengths now, halfway through the Breeders' Cup mile. Simply Majestic kept within striking distance. Second, Stylin tucked nicely along the inside and third. Mohamed Abdu is now asked for running. There he goes, and Niccolo Polo is moving with him. And Miesk is now moved within four and a half lengths of the lead. It's a gap of six lengths to Ravenella and Warning, who's just beginning to get underway. They're coming to the top of the stretch now. Niccolo Polo on the outside, simply majestic toward the rail. Those two are head to head, and here comes the French filly, Miesk, charging hard on the outside. Steinlin is now fourth, and now they're down to the final furlong. Miesk is charging hard to take the lead now. She's looking for back-to-back -back wins in the Breeders' Cup mile, and she's leading by three and pouring it on, pulling away impressively here. Miesk has won it. Oh, Miesk, what a filly. And away they go to another perfect start. Oldakova not quick into stride, though. She's dropping in mid back. Fastest into stride here is Sydney's Candy, and Sydney's Candy all alone out here on the lead. Get Stormy's racing along second. Beethoven kicks through at the rail. The usual QT is pulling very hard. The usual QT wants to go on now. He's pulled his way up to be a joint second. Now here's Goldakova, caught a little wide in the turn, and the white cap is giving them five length start. Just in front of that delegator who's going up closer. Court vision has the white blinkers down at the rail. They are followed by Paco Boy, who's back fourth last, gives them seven length start. Proviso's at the back of the leading group. And then we come back to Gio Ponti. Gio Ponti's 10 lengths off the leaders. And another four back to society's chairman. They run towards the half mile pole now, and Sydney's Candy's ensured a good pace. Sydney's Candy by a length to get Stormy. Beethoven's tucked in at the rail in third. On the outside of that, Frankie Dottorian, delegator of fourth. Then the usual QT is losing ground. Now here's Goldakova back six, and let's see. Goldakova has seven to make up. Goldakova's going to have to kick it in. They turn for home, and Sydney's Candy still strong on the lead. And Sydney's Candy gets a tap on the shoulder, goes on for home. Now Goldakova's unwinding her running the center of the track. Goldakova.
Rovers let loose, he's flying. Sydney's Candy, the usual QT's in there as well. But Golda Kova's catching with each and every strike. Are we to see history this afternoon? Here's Bucko Boy late, but no, Golda Kova, a true champion. Three Breeders' Cup wins. Olivia Pellier, the perfect ride. Golda Kova has won. They're off in the Breeders' Cup mile. Wise Dan stumbled just a bit coming out of the gate. And Silver Max goes out to take the early lead. And there goes obviously after him. And Bright Thought is right with the leaders two and third. And then it's Silencio to the inside and fourth. In between horses is no jet lag, who's off the rail and moving up. Zah approval is next. Olympic Glory is just to the inside of Wise Dan. And they're six lengths off the lead early. EB Fire and Ice four lengths behind them. Cristoforo Colombo is the trailer. Oh, 21 and 4 was the first quarter onto the backstretch and obviously going along at a freaky pace. He's out there by a three length margin over Silver Max in second. And then it's Bright Thought, no jet lag. Two lengths back to Za approval. Silencio is done on the inside. Wise Dan is outside of Olympic Glory and they're still six lengths behind. Past a half mile in 44 and two. By far the fastest half in mile history. Into the turn they go. And obviously continues to lead the way. Taken on by Silver Max on the outside. Za approval moves up into third, no jet lag. Is fourth. Wise Dan has had this hot pace in front of him. He's four lengths behind. Olympic Glory is under a drive and they're into the stretch. Obviously, Za Approval comes after him. Wise Dan's in the center of the course. Silencio is coming on too. But here's Wise Dan alongside of Za Approval. Silencio coming up the fence. Wise Dan's got him. Wise Dan, brilliant in the mile. And they're off and racing. Winx has jumped out midfield and Ace High is a bit of a surprise leader early. Religify quickly into stride going to second. Then came Lure Remain from its somewhat who shot the barman. He's a length and a half in front of Winx who really relaxes back in the field and Egg Tart will sit behind her. So Ace High jump well, but Religify goes her on the inside and Religify is going to head off Ace High with Lure Remain riding for cover in third spot. A couple after the Sydney Cup winner who shot the barman is nice and fresh up in fourth position, followed then by It Some Water. Then came Winx and Egg Tart is last of all, about seven lengths first to last. And Religify leads by three quarters to Ace High. High. Lure Remain travelling strongly in third. Then who shot the bomb and a length further back to it somewhat. Eggtart trying to improve now. And Winks is sitting back last. She's seven lengths off the lead and quite happy to stay there for the time being. Oh, now she peels to the outside at the 600 metres and she's starting a run. It's Religify in front from Ace High under the pump. Lure Remain goes to third from who shot the bomb and Winks is on the tail of Lure Remain into the straight. Eggtart trying to push her under and it's somewhat last, it's Religify in front, Le Remain goes to him, Winks is two off, then Ace High and Egg Tart, Le Remain making a bold beat for victory, but Winks is starting to cut him down, Winks moves up on the outside, takes the lead, kicks away, he's three in a row, it's her birthday, and what a way to celebrate, long live the Queen, Winks by four lengths to Le Remain. Quartet now as they make the home turn. It's Redundant in the lead. Sparkler, Lester Pickett going up right on the outside there of Redundant. Brigadier Gerard moves up on the inside of Almagest into third place now. As they round the home turn, it's Redundant Jeff Lewis from Lester Pickett on Sparkler. Then comes Brigadier Gerard Joe Mercer and Almagest relegated to fourth. As they swing into the home turn, Lester Pickett looks over his left shoulder to see where Joe's got to and Joe's going to have to challenge towards his outside when he comes there. It's the two furlong marker. It's Sparkler in the lead with Brigadier Gerard coming to the right of the picture now to come and challenge him. Redundant over on the far side. It's Sparkler from Brigadier Gerard. Gerard, Sparkler, Lester Pickett, Brigadier Gerard, Joe Mercer, and Brigadier Gerard comes to take it up now as they come to the furlong marker. It's the old Brigadier Gerard going right away from Sparkler now. Redundant back in third place. The Brigadier lengthening his stride, striding up, getting a tremendous ovation. Another tremendous performance by him. This is number 16 of his career at the line. Brigadier Gerard's the winner. Sparkler is second. Redundant is third. They're off. 
And a pretty good start to Premier Loco on the near side began well. Going fast in the early stages too is worth that. Right over on the far side with the nose band. He's looking around there, Ian Mongan on bullet train. He's looking to see where the others are. He's the pacemaker for Frankel. And Frankel right in his slipstream there in the pink cap in about fourth position. Going into second in the early stages is, is, uh, is Joseph O'Brien and Acceleration. So on settling down and it's bullet train who shows the way from helmet and Acceleration and a half length away Frankel who's smothered up in the centre. Three parts away then worth that. Further back in the field then the black cap of side glance. They're followed next by Premier Loco and Red Jazz and right out the back is Windsor Palace in company there with Strong Suit who's second last in Indomito as last as they race up towards halfway in the Queen Anne. And it's Bullet Train taking them along at a good gallop from in second, Helmet on the near side. Over on the far side in third then the purple jacket of Joseph O'Brien on acceleration. Then in the centre is Franklin. Now Queerly is giving him a bit more rain as he moves up now with three furlongs left to travel. He says go on Frankel. Frankel races now to a narrow lead. Acceleration trying to go with him. The old rival of they've got two furlongs left to go in the Queen Anne. And now he starts to shake the reins at Frankel. He gets an immediate response. The champion starts to draw away. He's gone three lengths in front. Acceleration can find no more. And this is a procession. It's now Frankel who's drawing away. What a performance. The superb the spectacular Frankel, 11 out of 11, and in a zone of his own, it's Frankel who wins it by eight lengths. Acceleration gets second, in third then a side glance, followed by Indomito who ran on well.